All right, what's up, everybody? This is Chuck Gets Crucible with Simply Vegas, your Las Vegas realtor, bringing you another property tour. So this is the third model that we are going to be touring from Richmond American Homes. We are in the city of Henderson, Mass Plan Community, uh, Cadence. Uh, the name of this community is called Virtue Olsa. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correct. Now. Take a look at that sign right there, okay? Richmond has some land right here. They're grading everything. So I always say this, if you're gonna buy a home, get into the first phase because as you can get into the first phase, right? You're gonna be in a great equity position. So keep that in mind. Now, this is right here is just pretty much a sales office right now that on the two car garage. But I just wanted to show you what's going on. Uh, this main street right here will take you out to Boulder. Boulder is more of a industrial road. Um, for me, Boulder doesn't have that much greenery, but there's nothing wrong with that because again, it's more of an industrial road. Once you get out there shopping, uh, you're probably less than like four miles away from shopping. So here's the uh, two car garage, um, the Everett model that we're gonna be looking at, 1600 square feet. It is a two story, three bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, two car garage. The asking price starts off at uh, $291,950. So we're just gonna go sneak through the sales office real quick to go through the other door. All right, so as you can see, uh, imagine this fence not being here, okay? Some people ask, why, why is the fence here? How are you gonna pull in your driveway? This is just a model home, okay? So let's take a look at this. You have multiple elevations to choose from. When I say elevations, that's the exterior of the home, okay? This one, um, you do have a courtyard to the entry, so this would be your courtyard here, right? So let's go take a look at this. Great room, kitchen with a pantry, master suite, walk-in closet. So we have a eight foot door, which is the door is locked. So as the door is locked, we're gonna have to go to the sales office. Door's locked. Okay, That's fine, can I just cut through here too then? Absolutely. Make a shortcut. Sure. Thank you. Thank you so much. I must be the first person, that's why. <laughs> Forgot to open my own front door. <laughs> All right, so as we walk in here, as you can see, it's a beautiful, nice open floor plan. But let me flip this around here. So here's the front door that uh, we were trying to come through. But let me just show you as we're walking. Pretend like we're just walking through right now. Boom, as we walk through, it's a nice, cute, open floor plan. I do love it. Um, let's take a look here. Oh, HOAs are $40 a month, and that includes the mass plan. Uh, let's take a look at this. We have your quartz countertop, inch and a half. Uh, this countertop right here, um, it's gonna be pretty pricey because quartz, it is a man-made. You can design any type of quartz that you want. Uh, but you definitely are going to be limited. Uh, this one right here, these shakers or these cabinets are full overlay cabinets. Okay. Let's see if these are thermal folds, but these are painted with some dovetail cabinets, which is these are upgraded cabinets. Okay. So I think this is a level seven cabinet. However, okay, take a look at this. You have a 42 inch uh, cabinet. Some builders may sell you a 36 inch cabinet. If you did an upgrade when you go to the design studio, they ask you, and you go to a 42 inch cabinet, right? But then you take a look at the cabinet that you want, it's solid. Take a look of the inside here. Is it completely solid? The first video I did on the other home, it's not as solid as this. So when you shut it, you see how, how solid that sounds, okay? so. Don't be misled because sometimes you can get an upgrade on a cabinet, right? But the cabinet is, is shorter, so it's more sturdier. But then when you go from a 36 to a 42 inch, it's no longer sturdy, especially the centerpiece right here. It's more, it's more 
like crappy, I guess you can say. Crappy is the wrong word. It's just not as durable. It's not as great. This is a, fur, uh, a four burner. I would per prefer a six burner. I'm sure you can upgrade on this as well. Uh, this one has a oven below and you have your exhaust and your microwave. Now up here, something I want you to do is ask, does this exhaust, is this included or is this another structural upgrade that I would have to do? Now these are solid cabinets, so uh, these are quality cabinets actually. Let's take a look here. We have a under mounted sink, which is really nice. Uh, when it comes to garbage disposals, you got to take a look um, on the garbage disposals, uh, how many horsepower there are. Uh, normally, two and a half to three and a half is, is good enough and should be enough to do what needs to be done. Uh, the other thing is that you can see right here, this is Focus. Focus is another fast growing company that they're pretty much doing all the um, plumbing for all the builders. Like, they're crushing it right now. We have a 12 foot vinyl slide again. We've got a bright white. Uh, normally they do come with almond. Um, it is an upgrade sometimes. They will sell you on those upgrades too as well. We talked about this uh, cover patio. Cover patios, um, it's normally an upgrade as well. This whole backyard, you basically just get dirt. You normally have about six to 12 months. Make sure to read your HOA resale package. See what the rules, regulations, and the bylaws are. Okay. Pretty nice. Now, normally, if you did this upgraded package as far as the cover patio, normally you get the four can lights, but you won't get the pre wires or the ceiling fans. So that would be an upgrade. Um, we have a Goodman. AC unit, water spigot here, okay? You got your disconnect right there. And also, normally the pavers will be included when you do your cover patio. Now, take a look at this. This window here is not a low E window, which it doesn't have a gas in this window. This window actually has a tint in this one. As you can see, you can just tell by looking at this look. See the color difference? I don't know if you guys can see that or not. So that's how you tell. I mean, this is a decent sized room. I'll have all the measurements in the link in the description below too as well. So that door that we came through, that sales office, this is actually the garage. So we don't need to go in there. We just walked right in. Here's your half bath. Kind of show you what it looks like, but this is Pretty much utilized for a public restroom. We have some storage space here underneath the staircase. Uh, this door right here is a upgraded door. Take one more look here. Let's go upstairs. Now I can tell you right here, this railing is an upgrade. What would go here standard would be a pony wall. Okay. Now, when you go to the design studio, normally this railing right here is a level one, okay? If you want it stained, that could be one price as well. If you want it painted a different color, it would be one price as well. And they have different styles, selections that you can choose from. Coming upstairs, the, the padding on here is a kind of a standard pad. It's a five pound pad. At least do an eight pound pad. Don't short yourself on the carpet pad. So we have a washer, dryer, right here in the middle. That's another thing I want you to take a look at. If you have a washer and a dryer on the second floor, I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but this one has a, a pan. You always want to see if there's actually a, a drain pan or there's a hole that connects to this drain pan. Just in case if this floods, it drains in here and it drains all the way outside. Some builders will not include that into their build which baffles the hell out of me because you'd figure that would be something to code right all this isn't upgraded God, I'm losing my breath 
Okay, so let's take a look at this. We have your 20 by 20 filters, AC unit. So I guess this would be like a little loft or something. So you got two bedrooms here, bath there. Let's just go straight into the master. Master is pretty large. We got nine foot ceilings. Make sure to check if nine is standard with this builder. It's probably eight on this one, but normally with this builder, if you did the nine, it automatically includes the eight foot doors. Here's your smart box. All the utilities will go there. Under mounted sink, same old, same old, but take a look at this upgraded shower. I'm loving this. So you, you have a step up, you come in here, all right, you take a shower. I don't think I would put a door here. Let me know in the comments below, would you put a glass door here? Because you don't really need to put a glass door here, right? But I do like the spa bathroom, though. It's really nice. They have the right concept. So, I mean, take a look at this. I mean, this is just gorgeous. But, yeah, I would definitely get rid of that door. Let me know in the comments below. Off to the right here, we have a water closet. As you can see, <clears throat> this is kind of starting to split up here. So this just needs to be regrouted. That tends to happen, so don't worry about that. Let's take a look at this. Storage. Okay, that's just linen closet to the right here carpet transition to a herringbone pattern uh, we have a upgraded cabinet upgraded cabinet heights under mounted sinks and if you take a look we have upgraded lights and we have our tub shower combo with a nice backsplash on the tile here which is kinda cool and they got a heated light right here well actually it's not a heated light that type of light is made for like steam and stuff like that so that way when you take a shower you don't have to worry about you know electrical fires or anything like that it's just made for that oh having gimbal problems let me readjust sorry there's your attic access Hmm, I gotta put a pause for a second. Cause you know, sometimes I be getting entertained. Uh, let me just play you guys a tune. You know, back in my days, you know, I used to play. So we're gonna start this right now, ready? One, two, three. Yeah, yeah, let me know in the comments below what you think about my, you know what? I just realized maybe real estate is for me and I should just stick to it. <laughs> I try to make these uh, videos fun for you guys sometimes so that way it's just not boring. Let me know in the comments below what you guys thought about that. Okay, so here's your thermostat. So this is a dual zone what dual zone means is it's one ac unit right two thermostats you're gonna have a thermostat upstairs you're gonna have a thermostat downstairs the problem is that here in vegas it gets so hot so when it gets hot what happens is heat rises right cool air drops so if you're pumping your thermostat down so that way you can keep it cool upstairs right at 78 degrees downstairs is going to be even cooler so 
The problem is that it's your thermostat's going to work even harder and harder, and it's going to cost you more more money. So what happens is you have these dampers inside this ductwork that once the temperature meets at the 78 downstairs, but the temperature upstairs hasn't met, then the downstairs dampers will close off. Then you just only get airflow only upstairs until that temperature meets too as well. Now with these thermostats now, you can actually have these thermostats connected to your phone. Well guys, let me know what your thoughts are about um, if I should start a singing career or should I just stick to real estate. And um, let me know what your thoughts are about this property, okay? Other than that, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Chuck, it's Chris Watt with Simply Vegas, and have a blessed day.